The grade 12s, we are now going to approach the module 12 of engineering, graphics and design, which is mechanical loci helix. And we're going to look at a number of different helix drawings. And um, we start our first one with the auger. Let's have a closer look. There are two activities on this specific page and um, we are going to focus on the first one which is, at the, which is at the top and we are going to zoom in on that specific instruction. What is given to us is the front view which is that shaft there of the auger and the left view of that specific shaft as well and the starting point Q which both reflect on both views and then of course we have the position of point P which is that center point which is situated on our blank spaced area here. Our instructions basically request from us to draw to scale 1 is to 1 the complete front view and left view of the auger. You need to show all the constructions needed and no hidden detail is required. These are the specifications. So we're going to move in different steps. So step one is we are going to redraw this specific um, given starting at point P. So that is the first step we are going to do. So if you look at it, we have a 32 diameter circle here around P and we have a length of 180 which is the length of the shaft so that is what we're going to do first so around that point we're going to have that 30, 34 we're going to divide this up into different quads here and then of course if we go to the first instruction before we even approach the shaft we will have a nominal diameter of 74 which basically means that would be the outside diameter of our auger and for me to be able to draw that we will have to look at the radius which is half of 74 so I'm going to measure of 37 and put my compass there and draw a bigger circle which is going to fit around point P then learners, I'm going to extend my nominal diameter across and I will have a starting point here which is going to be that start point there of my auger shaft detail and then I'm going to measure from the 108 which is my length of my shaft 108 I'm going to extend the center line as well so that I can have point Q indicated in my front view and point Q in my top view which is right there. Because I have no corners on my circle I will have my 12 divisions through my center which is 30 and 60 that side and 30 and 60 through my center point from that side. I have created 12 spaces on my circle and I have both my nominal diameter on the outside and my internal shaft diameter of 34 here so I can create two sets of points which I'm later going to indicate if we go back to our specifications we are going to be looking at our pitch our pitch has a length of 72 and a length of 72 means it is one turn we need to have one and a half turn so half of 72 is going to be 36 and that's going to give us a total of 108 which we have there if you look at the amount of spaces which we're going to have for one and a half turn for one turn we are going to have 12 spaces plus half a turn which is going to be the size of 36 we're going to have six spaces there and together we're going to have a total of 18 spaces within this 108 here. To be able to determine the size of the spacings 
to fit 18 in here we have to take 108 divided by 18 and that's going to give you a convenient 6 so every distance in between here will be 6 and there should be 18 spaces accurately fitting into the space of 108 here I've created my 6 spaces I will have to take my Z square and my T square and draw lines vertically across that area over there to divide my 108 into 18 spaces and you have to accurately check whether there are 18 spaces then learners we will have to project our outside nominal diameter lines across here and for that I'm going to use a color red so that is the first line which we're going to have there and this is the end line which we're going to have there our middle line will form part of it and then we're going to have these two in between us here which is going to be that point and that point and that point and that point will be my in between there so now I've got my red points or my red line points I'm going to start over here because this is a left handed meaning it is clockwise direction so I'm going to put my arrow in there and then I'm going to plot from here because it flips like that and it goes that way up first so I'm going to plot all my points here neatly across I'm going to end right there and then I'm going to add my line which basically connects all points up to that point over there where it started originally at the bottom and then I will use my points on my smaller circle and project that across as well so you will draw your green lines from the inside diameter and then of course you are going to plot only on the green line starting here and that plotting is probably going to go something like this where these two outside points are actually lining up through that point and it will end up there and then of course learners you just need to darken procedures and that darkening is going to come with that line first and that line first and then you will have that going like that and stopping there this going like that stopping there because that goes behind comes out this side right across and it stops right there this one comes out here and goes and stops there and then you will have that little piece there this line linking up with that point there and this line linking up with that point over there then of course you will have this line and that will blend in with this line over here I hope the explanation is clear enough for us to take this drawing into a formal drawing where I will be drawing in detail how the auger will unfold